Hey everyone, my name is Titanic, and welcome back to part 3 of my Terrain 1.4 Expert Single Player Let's Play. Today, we are going to continue our adventure mining, actually. I want to try to get a little bit better gear before I go ahead and spend some time working on make making a base and stuff like that. But for now, I would like to get started on putting together just a little storage, just, just to get some stuff out of our way. Because we are going to be mining. We'll leave the Scarab of Bombs at home, we'll leave that at home. We'll bring an anvil, I guess, just in case. Leave all this, some of the spare stuff. Oh, we almost have enough rubies. I better bring that along. Sapphire gem. We can leave. We can leave some of these. Uh oh. We better get moving. <laughs> we'll just empty the inventory as quickly as humanely possible here. Hey, Mr. Slime. It's not okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> leave that behind. Leave that behind. Don't need these. I said, well, we do need these. Don't need that. Alright, let's head down to the cave. That's gonna be the plan. How much wood do we have? A lot. Okay. I'm used to... I'm not used to having such crappy gear. I think the next episode will work on getting some basic, basic housing set up, but for today, I just want to continue trying to get gear up. Oh my god. I'm gonna die before I can even get to the cave. Oh, look at it back there. There's the Akathu. <laughs> let's go. I love that. That's such a neat feature. Just everything about this update, the more I play it, the more I love it. I, I just... Also, I need to check. Yep, so that, that does work now. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, I don't know, 1.4, the more I play it, the more I love it. At first, like, there was a while in development there where I'm like, for a major patch, like, even though I was one of the people that was advocating making 1.3.6 into 1.4 originally, um... I still wasn't quite sure about it, how it would be, because it would be the first major patch we've ever had to not extend the late game. But, I'm in love with it. The game feels so much better than it did before. I just adore it. It's, it's a blast. Let's make sure OBS is actually doing its job, so I don't lose any footage here. Alright, yeah, you can hear me. Good. I really just say, by the way, thank you for the support in the first two episodes of the series so far. Um, both episodes are weird. Both of them, I was really upset. I released them and they got like, and the views just stayed at zero for hours. And then all of a sudden, they just took off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But either way, I cannot complain. I appreciate all the support we get. Obviously, after doing this for so many years with no support, um, it's not a huge change when it is a change to get support. Although, it's also when you get a taste of having some. It's so hard to see a, v a video not do as well that I really appreciate every time now that I see that view count going up to have the support to actually make these. Because this does take time, I mean. Certainly not easy taking them this much time of my day, like every day. Oh my god, there's a lot of crimson. Oh boy. Need more weapons. That's one thing I'm lacking in. I wish I could dig into the underground snow biome, but I don't know where... Let's see, I mean, the dungeon's on that side, there's a crimson there, and there's, I think, did I just stop there, or did I find a crimson, I don't know. Might have been, I might, that might have been where I ended the last episode, I don't know. Oh no, I don't want to die. No bat, no mister, bat, thank you. Oh, it's deadly. It is very deadly. Oh, uh, wait. Where's that salamander? Is he... He's in there. Okay. That's not where I need to go. That's where I died last time. Okay. That's cool. Oh, we do have a grappling hook. I forgot about that. Okay. I did afford a basic grappling hook. Which, that is of great use. Tweet about tungsten right now. Oh, come on. Why can't I place that torch? What the heck? There we go. Anything down here? A lot of emptiness. I gotta admit. <laughs> That's kinda not good. It's not the greatest look I've ever had, but we'll go for it. I'm probably gonna try to get a platinum pickaxe. I kind of have learned that seems to be the strategy now is get a plat pickaxe and then go mine all the demonite or such crimson you can find in your world. Because now it's, there's so much Crimtain now that you it's actually worth just mining. I mean, you can actually get enough that by the time you fight a boss, you have stuff. Now, it is worth noting, the reason I know this is, I'm 
we're getting quite far into the recording of our master mode series already. We've been playing that a lot, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this series is gonna fall behind the master mode multiplayer, which is not what I wanted. Um, originally this was gonna be the main series that was the lead, and then I'd explore everything in this series, and then multi, and then master mode would be where I get to kind of reinforce what I've had, but, um... This series is undeniably going to fall behind, because I just can't keep up with the progress we're making in Master Mode as a trio, so... Um, we're definitely gonna keep going with the series, obviously. I mean, I kinda... I'm kinda mixed about it, but after seeing how well it did the last episode did, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep going. Alright. Here's the new Mushroom Biome. I love the new Mushroom Biomes so much. Oh, is there a better entrance, though? It's the real question here. I don't think so. Hey, Mr. Boulder. Bye. Uh, I should have brought the mining potions. That would have been smart of me. But am I always the smartest fellow? Nope. That's okay, though. <laughs> we'll still be okay. So, obviously, I know there's one tactic. It, with my tactic with playing this game is a lot different than some people in the sense a lot of people mine for a lot of the different pre hard modors. I don't. I will mine uh, gold slash platinum whenever you get, I get in my what, ooh, two heart crystals. Um, wait, is there a third one up there? No. Um, but I get the um, I get the best ore, and I also grab letter iron for crafting stuff later down the line. But beyond that, it's a oh, gold chest. Awesome. Uh, lead crystal. Boom. One sixty. The more HP we get, the better off we are going to be. But yeah, I don't mind for a lot of, like, copper tin's always useless to me, and tungsten I used to mine for more, if I guess, I, if I get really hung up on something, I might mine some of it, but honestly, generally speaking, I don't think it's going to be of much use to me. I don't like wasting my time on useless stuff, that's kind of my thing. Oh man, I wish I had a pinch to have. There's so giant trees that I found yet. I haven't found any giant trees. I, I wonder if there's any in this gap here. I mean, there's a crimson there. And there's the jungle. So, I mean, there could be a giant tree over there yet. I guess there could be one over here yet, too. I mean, it'd be nice to get a finch staff. I, I've learned how useful they are. And I don't. I, I miss them. Alright. Let's kill some spore bats. Eh, I mean, I actually have enough bombs to blow up some of that crimson up there. Which really would be helpful. Wait, what's over there? I saw Flash. No. At first I thought there was an underminer, and I got excited. I'm trying to get the bone pickaxe in at least one of my worlds. Hey, magic mirror, that's good. That is the type of loot I want. Right. Another hard crystal, okay. And then we'll go back for that crimson. And then... Alright, 200 life. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Okay, well. Now things can spawn. Well, never mind. We don't even have 10. We, we have one defense and the guy. Yeah, we're not having wild boss funds for a while yet. Yeah. Never mind. I am plenty safe, if that is my concern. Which it really isn't even that much of my concern, to be honest. There's bigger things to worry about. Alright, let's see if I can get over here and raid this chest. Another magic mirror. Okay, that's not as exciting, but okay. Uh, I just go over, I just want to check this area out quickly before I go back into the mushroom mine. Oh, gem tree. It's a topaz one though, so I don't think I need hey, another life crystal. Very nice. It is nice being in single play though. Every heart crystal you can get, you can just instantly eat. I mean, I carried around like 20 of them in my inventory in, the, in our master one playthrough for a while. It definitely, I think the big difference between this and Master Mode, um, this series is probably going to be a lot more casual than Master Mode, it's going to be, Master Mode's turning out to be even more fast-paced than I thought, I mean, I thought we were going to spend forever getting through the early game, and then we kind of, you'll see what happens after a few episodes, but we kind of, uh, we have a little experiment that goes crazy, and we basically went way farther into the game way quicker than we wanted to by accident, and so... Um, even though they broke the, even though they got, the patched the old meteorite thing, mostly, um, found some new ways to bypass things, so. 
That's fun. I can't wait to show. I can't wait for that content to get out. That's good. It's good stuff. There's a heart crystal down there, isn't there? No. Pot, pot. That is a heart crystal, but maybe not. Oh, it's just the terrain shaping. Okay. All right, let's go back for the platinum and then that crim tame. Yeah, I think we'll try for a platinum PX as soon as we can get one. If we might be able to afford one already. Yeah, we definitely can afford one. If I make a, if I make the stuff to craft, we could do one. Yeah. All right. Let's mine this and we'll get a platinum. Now, some people say it's a waste of platinum. After uh, how I've been playing in master mode, I've realized the platinum pickaxe is such a good investment. Um, mainly for mining crimson. <laughs> That's my main idea behind it. Uh, that help, it helps you a lot there. And let's see, workbench. Make a furnace. Yes, I can. Platinum bars, here we go. That should be enough to make a pickaxe, I hope. Yeah, platinum pickaxe. Boom. Right. Okay. Much better. Nice upgrade for us. <laughs> Help the raid. Yeah, maybe I should have made the platinum sword, but nah. I would, but I don't want to waste that much of my time. Because I'm probably going to just go for the Blood Butcher and then the bow, I think. I don't know. I'm mixed on which is better. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can find the, um... The Mace. The Mace is so stupidly common, at least in Master Mode. So I'm hoping... It's annoyingly common in Master. Hopefully it's at least common enough to find it in this world. Alright, let's not drain the entire lake on our head. This statue. A dragonfly statue. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yes. Oh no. Uh oh. It's not. Oh, screw it. That's what it is. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get killed if I do. I am doing this, but if I do, whatever. We'll find a way back to you. Hey, Mr. Bat. I don't like you, Mr. Bat. Mr. Bat, thank you for dying. Uh, oh my god, the piranhas. Hey, guys. <laughs> I don't like this very much. The umbrella is such a fun weapon to use. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna shoot you to death. Mushroom biomes are so much bigger than the old ones. I love them. They just feel more special now. Is there any more loot? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm trying to like look in the ceiling for more caves that might have loot, but yeah, I don't see any hard crystals on the map either. All right, onwards. while we're here. Um, it'll help us when we want to make a storage room later on the, down the line. That's my main reason to do that. Could there be more? I'm gonna dig down and see if we find any more mushroom biome. I do think there are more caves in 1.4, which I do like. I am crazy, but I feel like the cave, I feel like the cavern layer is much more open than previous. Of course, we, uh, I guess I can't spoil too much, but, I don't know, the jungle seems a little bit different. The desert's very, very different. Uh, it does seem like World Gen got significantly altered. Some of it I like a lot, some of it I'm kind of mixed about, to be honest. Yeah, Oh, boy. Alright, 
Let's make some torches. Hey, hey, no, 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 Mr. Bat. Mr. Bat. Hey, ow. Did I say you could do that to me? I did not. Okay. Fish, you're dead. Uh, I wonder how far. I wonder. Oh! <gasps> Enchanted sword. Oh, that is such a stroke of luck. Yes, our luck is returned. That's amazing, dude. Let me check the recording dump quick, just so I know where we're at. Okay, that's amazing. All right, luck's back in business. And a cloud in a bottle. Okay. The entire playthrough from last episode, where I was starting to get like, I after I was talking to uh, and when, I was re when we were recording the multiplayer, I was discussing how um, I was kind of getting demotivated to record this thing because I was having such bad luck compared to that series where I'm just there's just loot everywhere and oh man have i hit the jackpot it's just okay the key is you need to get deeper in the cavern layer you just can't the the deeper you get the more loot you find and i wasn't i i mean if we look where i was at the beginning of this episode we were up here still we haven't gone into the cat this was our adventure into the cavern layer and yes it's definitely paying off for us okay i do is 10 bars enough to get the bow Make the blood butcher, but yeah, I mean, every in every way besides size, this is better. So yeah, we're gonna make a tendon bow though. Ruthless, that's helpful. Okay, goodbye wood bow. I don't even want it. <laughs> oh my god, four damage to twenty-two, bro. It's <laughs> amazing. All right, yeah. The new way to get through the game is just mine crim chain with a platinum pickaxe. It literally is the way to get through this game. Hey, 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 hey. yeah. We do a little more damage now. <laughs> I love it already. This is great. Uh, and this is how we get to the game. Alright. I could go dig for that Crimtain, but I want to explore. Um, I don't know how much Crimtain stuff I'm going to need to get before we actually go for any bosses. I mean, realistically, although it would be kind of cool to get Blood Butcher right now, I don't need it now. The Enchanted Sword's cooler. I like the projectile. I get light. Uh, it's auto swing. It has a higher base damage. It's just better. And when there's a better weapon, you use it. Also, they dramatically cut down how many houses spawn. That's one thing that has been, we've noticed. Um, the, the old houses underground just don't spawn much anymore. Now that they put chests to generate wherever again. Look how much platinum do I have? Not much still. No. Right. You need to get more platinum. Platinum's good for making early game tools and slow. I mean, early game tools, the crown, and the other thing I like the plaid for is the platinum wash. As soon as I can get that, I want one. Because we can wash the time of day very easily. And there are, here, your inventory just fills up so fast. It's kind of annoying, but it works. Alright, this game is so much more fun though when, it, when you actually find loot constantly. This is just. I love it. I feel actually powerful again. Only thing is defense. The defense is going to be an issue very, very quickly. Alright, hey, bat. Give me a chain knife. Nope, okay. Another bat that can give me a chain knife though. I mean, you can literally they'll get blood you can get the like the well besides blood butchering you get bloodless cluster this early like i it's it is kind of op almost how much you can get now before you even fight and i mean because of how much ore you can get and the how and if you fight the brain you don't even kill it if you just kill the tissues the creepers and get tissue samples from them you could technically get all of the crimson tier gear and corruption for that matter, if you do the year. But I think that actually the brain is easier for the strategy. You can get all of that gear without ever actually killing the boss. Which is just amazing. And I haven't got the enchanted sword in a while, so I mean, I'm happy about this. I mean, am I mad that, it, honestly, I don't know how Arcalis would have done in this playthrough. I mean, Arcalis is, actually, nah, I should, I should watch what I say. Arcalis is insanely OP, I don't think. 
even without even not having the projectile, our callus is so stinking powerful. I don't know. If, I don't think the enchanted sword can compete with it. Okay, come on. Let's not die to a dark trap. And with this tree, not useful. Let's see what's down here? Nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> I am at this tree. I love these new gem trees. Like, I'm, and by the way, I'm not harvesting it because it's amethyst. I don't need it. The, the the stuff I don't need, I'm not picking up just to keep my inventory a little bit nicer. Uh, oh, spider cave. Not what I expected to find, but okay. Oh, uh, wallpaper. Any chance a stylus is in here? Any chance? I suppose now there's gonna be spiders all over the freaking place, yeah. Okay, please die. Thank god this thing has enough knockback to keep them back. Really easy. Okay, let's quickly mine some platinum here. I need a good supply of platinum as I go around the world. <laughs> All right. I mean, no stylus, but hey, we found a first spider cave if we want one later. That's nice. I'll take it. I love the music in this game. I mean, I've talked about it for years. I think of every game I've ever played, I think, in terms of soundtracks to go with the actual game, Shuri has the best. I mean, I think highest quality, I've always said, is, um, arcs with the orchestra, or at least of the games I've played, but I think, I mean, I love the Minecraft soundtrack a lot, it's a really good one, but you just cannot beat Terraria's music and how it correlates with the game, I mean, I was talking yesterday, even though this is with, um, with Login and Clash, even though this game is only in 2D, with all of the music, all of the events that happen, all of the little things in the background, it adds an entire new dimension to the game, that even though it's not technically three-dimensional, it's, it, it goes beyond being a 2D. It's a very immersive game, and I think that's what I love about this game. Is it just because 2D doesn't stop this game from being fully immersive, and I love that about it. By the way, at some point I want to get the entire beast area filled out in both of my playthroughs, so we are going to try to kill everything we come across. Or at least want to kill one of them. Oh, another heart crystal. Okay, that's helpful. I don't know. I mean, if we can find some decent armor somewhere, we could be almost ready for the Eye of Cthulhu, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess maybe a bit more HP would be nice before we go straight for the Eye, but, I mean, you really don't need that much to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. I used to go, like, over the top, thinking you need all this stuff to kill him. No, you just need a decent... You need a good arena and a weapon that does damage. Ow! Okay. That wasn't very nice. Oh, I think the ended miner that was over here or whatever was lighting it up too small. Either there's a cave where we were going to check out at the end of the episode here. Okay, we're going to get it. Go pass, I don't care about you. I'm gonna regret not taking these gems later for something, I'm sure, but... Alright. Alright, there's that. Alright, let's see what's over here. Anything? Not really, actually. Did our caving luck run out? I swear, I swear to God, I over on our Master World, I just the caves went on forever. Okay, we're right out of steam. Pretty quick on here. We'll go for a little bit longer, just so by chance, if there's anything else. This is a decent cave now. It's just literally a pit. I could use a splunker, but what fun is that? I don't have a hunter potion, which would be really helpful. Okay. 
Mid Miner, stay over there, please. On my way, buddy. He's gonna go despawn again, isn't he? I don't want him to. I do not want to lose the ended miner again. I want to get a bump big X so bad. Cause I think they buffed it even more, which I don't know why they buffed it more. Actually, I think they might have. I think they might have moved his mining power a little bit. Anything up here? All right. It's time to see what type of RNG. Oh no, not you. Not the spit guy. No, don't spit on me. Not allowed to. It's illegal. Okay, give me the bone pickaxe, please. No, that's not a bone pickaxe. I really didn't expect to get it, but part of me was really hoping, but yeah. I've killed a lot of them dudes and have not gotten it. Like in MASH mode, even. I kill every. Like, it's been a tradition ever since I found out about the Undead Miner existing. And drop, or since I found out about the bone pickaxe, not the undead miner, but since I found out about the bone pickaxe, every undead miner I see, I go out of my way to kill. I want that thing. It's such a good pickaxe to get. Anytime you get it in pre-hard mode, it's gonna help you. I mean, its pickaxe power isn't great, but it mines through blocks so quick. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I don't know how much more of this lead I'm gonna gather, but I'm trying to make sure we have a good supply of it to build on for later on. Because so the last thing I need is to be in hard mode and then complain that I don't have any lead. Maybe like a nightmare situation for me. But I figure out where we're going to set up all of our early bases as well. I want to kind of build all around the world. Now that we have, with pylons being a thing, I mean, we're, we're not limited to just one corner of the world anymore. So, I'm definitely going to use the pylons a lot. I'm very excited about using them, in fact. Why are there so many dead, just caves to go to nowhere? Minus platinum, and I guess before we wrap up, we'll try one last bombing spree and see if we can find anything. Alright, yeah, there's just not a whole lot here. How many bombs do we have? 38. Yeah, we have enough to make ourselves a little bomb tunnel. Oh, there's a cave down there. Alright, keep bombing. Bombs away! <laughs> Bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, I didn't go too far, but hey, that got us to start. Is that already lava down here? I don't think we're that deep. Oh, found a cave. Oh, we are legitimately that deep. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, another spider cave is up there. The loot train is just back on. I love it. Ooh, that last time I did, I didn't find you. Okay. Let's go look around down here. Mining in lava level is dangerous, but one thing it does is it sure as heck tells you where every single cave is. There's, there's water trapped under lava. That's kind of odd. Okay, we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna check out what's over here, and then we're gonna go to the right, and then we'll wrap up. Hi, Mama Slime. You're dead. <laughs> Mama and babies kind of got killed.
can't see anything up there. Yeah, I don't see a love stylus thing though, so I don't think the stylus is there. If she was, I'd consider trying to go for her, but yeah. Right now, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Actually, we can help ourselves for later. Let's get some bombs set up so we can go get down to the city. Ow. No. What's going on? Bat. Fat bat. I don't like bats. No. It's a black slime. There are two black slimes. Not one, but two. Okay. Word of advice for myself. Torch. a game strategy here that's a little cheap but ladies and gentlemen this is how you get a useful accessory early in the game watch and learn i don't know when i learned this trick or if i taught myself this might have been a trick i self-taught myself that i might have done, that i might have figured on my own but i'm not positive um city and skull extra defense not always useful, but I go out. All right. Wait, what does it look like if you just do it like that? I don't know. But yeah, it's a extra defense. It's nicer if you actually get a good modifier on it. I mean, I've had it where I've crafted it and I've got warding on it, which is amazing. But let's take this. It's extra defense. I know you might need it for later, so. God, this is a big lead thing. Is there a detonator hook to this thing? First of that, it was one of those really long veins hooked to a detonator. Well, I guess I would have saw the trap by the detonator since both. What am I thinking? I'm silly. I am sometimes very stupid. <laughs> but who cares? You know, having fun. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Aha. Let's see. Anything. Anything cool. Right now, no. The answer to that question in five seconds is probably still going to be no, but hey, it's worth a try. Is that a gold pile? Bro. Okay, maybe the answer. Nine gold co Okay, yeah, okay. We did find something cool. Now I just don't want to die. Why is there a pressure plate there? That's kind of concerning that there's just a pressure plate there. By chance, I'm water walking. No. Okay, it's gonna be kind of scary. It could get a little bit sketchy here. No, I see Shelly. I do not want Shelly. We're gonna try something here. Yeah, try killing me now, you sucker. How did that go for you? Not very good, did it? This is how you play Terraria, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you play Terraria. No, Worm. You're you, Mr. Worm. I hate that they can go through lava. It feels like they're cheating. Uh, hey, die. Thanks. Hey, guess what, Mr. Boulder? Ugh. What the hell is that? Hey, Heart Crystal, Heart Crystal. This episode is kind of the episode of us getting Heart Crystals too, isn't it? We've gone to play with a HP. I mean, 
I thought we were gonna have a little bit better luck with our first set with how many we saw in the first couple of minutes, but I mean, our health is a lot higher than where we were when we started the episode, so I cannot complain whatsoever. I did not expect to have this kind of luck. Is that literally... Oh! <gasps> the luck continues! The ice biome is over here. Oh my god. I found the ice biome, my wish! Okay. I guess this is going to be a two-part episode thing, because we're going to go into the ice biome. I 100% want to raid what's in that snow biome. So, um, next episode, we're going to head into the snow biome. We're going to plunge in and just see what we can find. So, I hope you enjoyed today. We'll be back again tomorrow. So, make if you um, aren't already, make sure to subscribe and to make sure you know when the future videos are out. There's plenty to come. There's a lot, actually. This is going to be action-packed. Again, um, if you want some more action, though, and you want more, like I guess, intense, fast-paced stuff, go check out the Master Ray multiplayer series I have going on. Otherwise, this series, I'm going to take the game a little bit more slowly. I'm just gonna, I mean, I kind of have to be playing solo, so it'll take me a little while to get traction, but hopefully, I'm hoping it doesn't take more than like seven episodes or so to get to the Eye of Cthulhu, and then beyond, once we get to the Eye, I think it should be a pretty constant flow of bosses, so yeah. Anyways, I don't have this is a great day, the Fantanic, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of my Terraria 1.4, not 1.3, 1.4 Expert Let's Play, thanks for watching, peace out, bye bye Oh! <laughs>